Do you know there's a saying that says, if you spend 10,000 hours on your craft, you can be called a grandmaster. So you got to be a grandmaster by now. Yeah. <laughs> the terrorist, 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 terrorist. T-E-R-R-O. When I think of like certain producers, like people like Quincy Jones, and I just listen to hear his stuff and like, he was always like a very talented musician and his early stuff's also incredible, like the jazz and stuff he did then. But like when he start, started working like Shaka Khan and Michael Jackson and people like that, it just feels like he brought into those projects so much experience mm. that that breakthrough Michael Jackson album may not have been incredible if it wasn't for Quincy Jones. So um, it's half a dozen of one and six of the other in terms of do I feel pressure from not being 17 again? I mean, in lots of ways, I don't want to be 17 again or 18 or 19 because I don't really like that, those times. Why? And why? Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure. I didn't have confidence. And I don't know, just... The uncertainty. And you feel like now you know. Yeah, what you I feel. Do. I feel like very confident in what I'm doing. I feel very, you know. I feel experience in terms of like I know how to do this and that, and I wish I could go back with all the experience and the hindsight back to a much younger me and reapply it then. But that's not how hindsight works. Uh, well, I, so I never thought about that, but I have often thought because I came to this country when I was five from Russia. And if I'd have stayed, I mean, I came because my mum emigrated here. She married, you know, we came to England. But if I stayed in Russia, would I be making music now? I don't think so. I think I'd have followed an academic career, like science or something like that, because my parents are all very scientific. Whereas I think in, in the UK, the UK with America have had for a very long time it's been acceptable to be creative and to do it as a job whereas in other countries they're only getting around to the idea of oh you do music in, in terms you know before you know maybe 50 years ago 30 years ago in this country if you did music people think you're a drug druggie you're on crack you're with prostitutes or mm. you know what I mean that, whereas now it's you know it's acceptable and like there's there's courses at colleges and stuff for music, which before there weren't what well, there was, but you had to pay for them now. You know, it's mm -hmm. affordable. Was I wrong to love her? Was I, I mean the, the the next step and the breakthrough are two different thing, things. Breakthrough is c quite open to interpretation, depending what you mean by breakthrough breakthrough from a bedroom into doing it live or breaking into the pop charts or where you're going to be doing your breaking. Um, my advice for people, for musicians out there, is just to do it because when I started, I'm the kind of person who, who just does it. I didn't, when I, when I started in 92 and I started a record label and all that, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't go to college, I didn't really get any advice of what to do. I just like, okay, I've got some music, I'm going to put it out. Okay, I'm going to put it on my own label. How the hell do I do that? Made a phone call. And then, okay, so now I've got a record label. I've got to get a logo. And then, okay, let's get a logo. And what else do I need? This is before internet. You couldn't like just Google, what do I do? <laughs> do you know what I mean? And you just got to do it and have faith. And people are going to laugh at you. People laughed at me. You know, they're like, nah, what you think you are, you know, too big for your own boots and this, that and the other. And yeah, you find out who your real friends are and people are super skeptical of you, but you've got to do it and you've got to put your heart in it. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, at least you know you tried. And that's all you can do in life. Know you tried because the worst thing is, is to get to 60 and think, oh my God, I used to love playing piano and singing and I really write a few songs and I've, but I just didn't do it and oh, I wish I did it. And I mean, at least if you try, you can say, you know what? Hey. Can't, have, can't have regrets, basically. Yeah, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, is like for, for new people, whether you're DJing, producing, singing, rapping, whatever, tap dancing, painting, 
is just to get out there and do it and don't worry about the criticism just try and always move forward and progress and stuff like that whether you become a big star isn't so much on what you do it's on whether you're at the right place at the right time You know, when, when, when you put it like that, it makes me sound like I'm quite busy. And I, <laughs> and I am quite busy. But it all kind of fits in together. You know, it's like every day is a bit of all of those things. And um, when you love the work that you do, it's not really work. <laughs> 